In this tutorial video, we're going to go over exporting your videos. Now, if you recall, when you first create a video, you're going to be prompted to enter the resolution that you'd like to use. Now, you can change this at other points during the production process. For example, you can go over here to settings and you can change your resolution here to the desired amount. Likewise, when you go to export your video over here, you get this screen, which you also see on my canvas, and you have a choice to change the resolution right here. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I'm not ready to export. So currently I have it set to 480p, which is the default. I'll, I will change that most likely when I go to export it, but for now that's fine. So let's talk a little bit more about these resolutions. I'm going to go to this screen here. You'll see here I have three monitors with three videos at three different resolutions. So down here is the 480 and it's pretty small. 720 is a little larger and then again 1080 is my full screen image. Now if I were to have the video in a like a smartphone at 480 it would look fine. But if I were to play it full screen on a large monitor, it's going to turn out all pixelated like this. So that's why you want to be cognizant of the different resolutions. Likewise, the larger you go, the larger the file is. So a 1080p video is going to be possibly megabytes and megabytes and gigabytes large, whereas a 480p file is going to be much smaller. So you need to kind of way how the video is going to be used and take all of that into consideration. Then there's another choice, the Facebook and Instagram choice. This is for square videos, okay? So you'll notice if I have a little Facebook post here, the video needs to be square to fit in it properly. And my video here is rectangular. So what happens if we want to make a square? Let me show you. You go back to this screen and I'm going to go back to settings and like I mentioned you can change your resolution. I'm going to go ahead and choose Facebook and Instagram. It's going to change it to 1000 by 1000. You'll notice that's a square and the settings will turn into a square here. So instead of having a white rectangle I now have a white square. Now I feel this is a little too small for this, so I'm just going to go ahead and increase the size so that I take advantage of the format. And that looks nice. So now I can export it and it'll be a square for my Facebook page. If I go over here, you'll see that the square fits nicely in the allotted space. If you have a specific resolution that you have in mind, you can also change that. So let me go to export real quick and say you want a very specific resolution. So say you want it to be 1000 by say 1200 for whatever reason. So you can change it there and that would be that. If you want to constrain the aspect ratio, simply put a check mark there and it will make the adjustment accordingly. Now frames per second is going to determine how smooth the video plays. 30 is the default and that's typically just fine. If you want it to go a little bit smoother you can go higher, change it, and this will again make your video file a little bit larger because instead of having 30 images per second you now have 60, so you've doubled it, 60 images per second. So you'll need to figure out what you want and change it. So you'll need to keep that in mind as well. 30 is usually perfectly fine. And then of course quality, you've got maximum, high, medium, and low. So you might want to do a draft at 62% just to see how the timing is going and see how it looks and then once you're happy with it then export it at the full maximum of 100%. So let's go up here real quick. You can change the file format from mp4, mkv, ogg, or webm. 
The MP4 format is by far the most popular, so it is the default. And then finally, when you're ready to export your video, you can accept either the default destination or you can change it. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it to my desktop. And I'm gonna go ahead and export it by clicking the Save button and then Continue. And now Doodly will do its thing. I recommend just being patient. Don't leave this screen, just let it go. And soon enough, it will be done. Okay, now it's done exporting and it has this convenient little button here, Show Exported File. And Finder or Windows Explorer will open showing you your video. All you have to do is click it and there it is. Move it over and here's my square format video. This is the one I resized, and then these are the ones that I did not resize, and they look good.